Types of Ransomware There are primarily three different types of ransomwares that held victim hostage to force them to pay out ransom demand. The ways by which the victims are held hostages are different from one another and that is what we are going to discuss in this particular section. It is important to understand various types of ransomware as each one act differently. The types of ransomwares are crypto ransomware, locker ransomware and docsware. Let us discuss them one by one. Crypto ransomware It encrypts the file and documents on a computer so that the user cannot access them. What it does is it demands the victim to pay a ransom to get their files back in original form by providing decryption key to the victim. It is a form of malware that attacks a computer and restricts the user's access to files stored on the computer by encrypting it. Generally using asymmetric cryptographic methods. It displays an on-screen alert asking the user to pay ransom using cryptocurrency to get the keys to decrypt the files. Crypto ransomware let us have a look at couple of examples of crypto ransomware. First one being Loki. It was released in 2016. It infects its victim with Microsoft macros in office files sent via emails. It will prompt you to enable your word macros so that the file contents can be displayed properly. It encrypts important files on your computer. It can encrypt numerous types of files and hence very dangerous. The file name extensions are change to .odin, .thor, .loki, etc. The ransom demands amount between 0.5 to 1 bitcoin. WannaCry It was noticed in the middle of 2017. It targets Microsoft Windows operating system and falls under the category of crypto ransomware. It encrypts the files and asks ransom payment in bitcoins. It exploits the vulnerability known as Eternal Blue and the attacker demands $300 worth of bitcoins and then later increased the ransom demand to $600. If the victim did not pay the ransom, within 3 days period, victims were told that their files would be permanently deleted. Next is Bad Rabbit. Bad Rabbit spreads via fake Adobe flash updates, tricking user into clicking malware by falsely alerting the user that their flash player requires an update. It uses Mimi cards and open source tool to extract credentials. It uses a legitimate tool called as Descriptor to encrypt the victim's data. It has been targeting organizations and customers mostly in Russia and Ukraine. It demands 0 0.05 Bitcoin. Next one is Rayak. Again, it is a targeted attack on high valued customers. It is a type of crypto ransomware that uses encryption to block access to the system. It can kill more than 40 processes and 180 services through task kill and net stop commands. It uses other malwares or RDP connections to spread itself. The ransom demand is typically between 15 and 50 bitcoins. SamSam -sam. The infection is spread via targeted attacks. It exploits Windows Server to gain persistent access to victim's network and infect all reachable hosts. Samsung actors escalate privileges for administrator rights, drop malware on the server and run the executable file all without victim's action or authorization. The attack uses brute forcing passwords and using steel password available on dark nets. It escalates its privileges to get domain controller access by stealing DC administrative credentials using tools like Mimi cards and then use those rights to infect the system. Next is Petya. It falls under the category of crypto ransomware. It uses a server message block vulnerability that WannaCry employed to spread itself to unpatched systems as well as credential stealing technique to spread to non-vulnerable machines. The attack encrypts the master boot record among other files. It sends a message to the user to conduct a system reboot after which the system is inaccessible. Tesla Crypt it was first detected in the early part of 2015 and is a ransomware trojan. It uses to infect gaming files, game saves, user profiles etc. It demands a $500 ransom for the decryption key. It is not a significant one as its master key was released by the developer. Again, this is not the complete list of ransomware, but it is sufficient to give you an idea about crypto ransomwares. 
లాకర్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ వాట్ ఈస్ లాకర్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ లాకర్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ ఈజ్ అ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ విచ్ లాక్స్ ద విక్టిమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దియర్ డివైస్ ప్రివెంటింగ్ దెమ్ ఫ్రమ్ యూజింగ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ డిమాండ్స్ ద విక్టిమ్ టు పే అ ర్యాన్సమ్ టు అన్లాక్ ద డివైస్ జనరలీ నోన్ యాజ్ స్క్రీన్ లాకర్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ లాక్స్ ద యూజర్ ఆర్ విక్టిమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దియర్ ఓన్ డివైస్ దేర్ బై ప్రివెంటింగ్ దెమ్ ఫ్రమ్ యూజింగ్ ఆర్ యాక్సెసింగ్ ఇట్ ద ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ పాప్స్ ఆఫ్ విండో విత్ ఎ డిమాండ్ ఆఫ్ ర్యాన్సమ్ టు అన్లాక్ ద డివైస్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ డస్ నాట్ ఎన్క్రిప్ట్ ద డేటా ఆన్ ద విక్టిమ్స్ కంప్యూటర్ లెట్ ఎస్ సీ కపల్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ లాకర్ ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ బీయింగ్ మిస్టర్ లాకర్ ఇట్ లాక్స్ ద అఫెక్టెడ్ డివైస్ స్క్రీన్ అండ్ స్కేర్స్ ద విక్టిమ్ బై సేయింగ్ దట్ ద ఇల్లీగలీ డౌన్లోడెడ్ సంథింగ్ ఇట్ థ్రెటన్స్ టు డిలీట్ ది ఫైల్స్ ఆన్ ది విక్టిమ్స్ డివైస్ ఇఫ్ ద విక్టిమ్ డోంట్ పే ది సైబర్ క్రిమినల్ విత్ టూ ఫిఫ్టీ డాలర్స్ వర్త్ ఆఫ్ బిట్కాయిన్ మెట్రోపాలిటన్ పోలీస్ క్యాంప్ ద ర్యాన్సమ్ వేర్ అటాక్ అటెంప్స్ టు లాక్ ద కంప్యూటర్ అండ్ పోజింగ్ ఎజ్ అన్ అనఫిషియల్ నోటీస్ ఫ్రమ్ ది లా ఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ ఏజెన్సీ క్లెయిమ్స్ దట్ ద విక్టిమ్స్ పీసీ హెస్ బిన్ డిటర్మైన్ టు హ్యావ్ విజిటెడ్ ఇల్లీగల్ వెబ్సైట్స్ విక్టిమ్స్ ఐపీ అడ్రస్ విల్ బి డిస్ప్లేడ్ సేయింగ్ దట్ ఇట్ హెస్ బిన్ నోటెడ్ దట్ హీ హెస్ విజిటెడ్ ద వెబ్సైట్ కంటైనింగ్ పోర్నోగ్రఫీ చైల్డ్ పోర్నోగ్రఫీ సోడోమి ఎక్సెట్రా టు రిలీజ్ ద లాక్ విక్టిమ్ హ్యాస్ టు పే అ ఫైన్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ పౌండ్స్ ఎఫ్బిఐ మనీ ప్యాక్ స్కామ్ The FBI ransomware starts often by downloading accidentally or visiting a corrupt website and running an application with a modified JavaScript. The virus starts with a splash screen that contains the FBI's official logo with a warning that the computer has been logged, giving reasons such as copyright violation or child pornography offenses. It will also show the IP address and sometimes a still from a user's webcam. It then demands between $100 to $400 of ransom via prepaid money pack cards here is an example of crypto ransomware also known as reviton or police ransomware in this case it impersonates as a law enforcement agency which is based on a citadel trojan also known as zeus and it claims that the computer has been used for illegal activities like child pornography and unlicensed software it then logs the system and occasionally shares footage from a victim's webcam and it ask you to pay the fine via anonymous prepaid cash service like paysafe card money pack and u cash docsware ransomware it threatens to release sensitive information if a ransom is not paid dox means documents and doxing is an act of publishing someone's personal information online doxing is the internet based practice of researching and publicly broadcasting private or identifiable information about an individual or an organization it collects the information by way of social media hacking and many such similar techniques however it is done with a malicious intentions it is primarily used to extort money from the victim let us see couple of examples of doxware ransomware the first one being the dark overload the dark overload is a hacking group believed to have stolen information related to 911 attacks on the world trade center from the documents from the insurance firms such as silverstein properties lloyds of london and hiscox syndicate they threaten to publish the contents of the files if their ransom demands are not made the same group got notoriety after they leaked the unreleased episodes of the netflix series orange is the new black another example is leaker locker leaker locker locks the home screen of the mobile phones it get install on your mobile phones through fake apps on google play it threatens to send your private pictures messages and internet browsing history to your friends in the contact list 